on the 24th, we see some stars from the NWA here uh, doing some shots in New Orleans with the UWF. There you would see uh, the Rock and Rolls working with the Midnight Express, and Jim Duggan would be in there with Buzz Sawyer. Um, Central States would also see Ric Flair and Bru- Bruiser Brody in Wichita, Kansas on the 24th. You guys are back in Fayetteville, North Carolina at the Cumberland County War Memorial. On top, you've got Magnum TA and Nikita Koloff to a no contest in Fayetteville there. The following day, we're at Winthrop Coliseum in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and uh, Flair is still on tour, this time taking on Dusty Rhodes in a steel cage in Portland, Oregon, uh, which is obviously the Don Owens territory. And Raleigh, North Carolina hosts the, the crew on the 26th at Dorton Arena. Uh, The main event is Magnum TA, Ricky and Robert taking on uh, Jim Cornette, Bobby Eaton, and Dennis Condry. How about that for a six-man? Jim Cornette, part of the team. That's great. Uh, The Seattle Center Coliseum, again, another shot for Don Owens on top. This time, it's not just Flair and Dusty. You also get the Road Warriors taking on Ivan and Nikita. Uh, The following day on the 27th, the tour continues. This time, it's Flair defending against Coco Samoa. Not familiar with his work, uh, but the Road Warriors are taking on the Russians in a steel cage match in the main event. Pretty good crowd there too, fifty four hundred fans. Mm. Uh, back at the Scope in Norfolk on the twenty seventh, we've got Garvin working with Tully Blanchard, and uh, Rock and Rolls, or I'm sorry, the Midnights taking on Dusty Rhodes and Magnum T A. Uh, back in Richmond on the twenty eighth, double shot there. I shouldn't say double shot flair still on tour wrestling Barry Windham in Daytona beach for central or uh, yeah, central wrestling or excuse me, the CWF, uh, Jim Crockett yeah. promotion, yeah. Championship wrestling from Florida. Right. Uh, JCP though, at the Coliseum, 10,000 folks would see dusty team with Wahoo to take on Tully and Arn, hmm. And then, uh, the road warriors again in a cage match with the Russians. And then we're back here for tv so all of that happened in one calendar week wow you guys are all over the place man it really is remarkable to see that schedule one of my jobs in the office was we had pictures Mm -hmm. and we had uh, i wish i had them press releases that i wrote up or bios on wrestlers that i wrote up it wasn't much and when we would go out to like central states or go out to the pacific northwest they would always have me call the promoters and say can we send you anything for promotion, pictures, black and white pictures for the newspaper or whatever. And I, so I got to talk to a lot of people. I, talk, I, remember, I specifically remember talking to Don Owens one time. And I asked him, I said, uh, Mr. Owens, how's things going out there? He said, not good. He said, pretty soon I'm going to have to sell some of the heads of my cattle to be able to pay off the boys. Oh, shit. That's what he, he was just bitching about, you know, business was down for him. And, and so, you know, because we were national now, it helped his business out a great deal to send him out there. Right. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com. <laughs>